we've set them, and now we're in the area of what's being done about them. And those who must do it are, if you please, the professionals. The head of the park department, the head of the medical services, the police department, and it's in that area where if we're to accomplish the goals, then we need, in effect, an annual report. What's being done and what accomplishments have been made? So that's our responsibility this fall. Now, we look upon this not as a confrontation where we take the, the superintendent of the schools and get him up there and say, why haven't you done this? It's that he would give a report of his stewardship as related to these goals and to um, tell the people what he's done and what he, if he's not accomplished, just the reasons why. Money, other things that might not enable him to accomplish it or set a, a timetable on it. We have said uh, that we did not want to embark upon this project unless the taxpayers of our community could be fully protected from uh, any risk. And of course, uh, we're just as firm in that position today. We have been unable as yet, however, to gain a tax-exempt ruling from the Treasury Department for such revenue bonds. Uh, no doubt we eventually could gain uh, such approval because what we're asking is uh, only uh, right and proper. But we are running out of time, both on our option to purchase the land, we've discussed that earlier, and our hope to open the Sea Life Park by next summer and uh, to have Turnpike ex Stadium expanded for football uh, this fall.
Well, I felt for some time that North Texas State, geographically located, is an excellent area for basketball. A few years back, perhaps, Texas basketball wasn't quite so good, but here, in recent years, it's really come along, and I think, uh, I think there's more and more people becoming aware of this. In fact, some of the better basketball players, high school basketball players in, in the nation, are located right here in Texas at the present time, and I think uh, that North Texas State is probably as well located as any school in the state of Texas for uh, recruiting some of these young men. Coach Miller, why is it that uh, they're, they're getting better in Texas uh, at this point? Well, I think the coaching has improved a, a great deal over the years in uh, this area, uh, in the uh, high school area. Uh, of course, we're getting bigger kids and they're, uh, they're more, becoming more interested in basketball, I think, as a whole in the state. Do you think we're on par with the, your home state, the Hoosier State, Indiana? Yes, I do. Yeah, I think that uh, I think Texas basketball right at the present time is as good as any state in the United States. Well, we 